Hey guys, today I'm going to give you my full in-depth review on a new fragrance from the House of Perfumology. This fragrance is called Boutique. In this video here, I'm going to tell you about my performance, how I feel about the fragrance, if Kelly likes, if you should get samples, and my ratings and final thoughts at the end. If you like this type of content before the video ends, please show your support by liking the video, click the red subscribe button down below, and click the bell icon to miss any future content or uploads on my channel. Would like to thank Perfumology for sending me this bottle for free. Look, all opinions are my own. I have a few Perfumology fragrances and I spend thousands of dollars, uh, thousands at Perfumology from the time I started my channel till now. And I always thank Perfumology for always supporting the casual fragrance channel. They don't have to, but I do appreciate it. And I'll give you guys my overall thoughts on it, whether I like it or I don't. You guys know I keep it real here. This fragrance here is called Boutique. Beautiful presentation of the box here. And this is the auto perform concentration. Opens up like this. You gotta open it up, which is cool. So this is a little small little box it comes in. It says perfumology. In the back, it has all the notes. Now the note breakdowns right here. The notes we have is red apple, amberetta, grapefruit, amber, white flowers, jasmine, dry woods, vanilla, magnolia, musk, cedar wood, cedar, and orris. Let's look at the presentation. Beautiful box presentation. Has perfumology right there in the middle. Has Philadelphia here, which is awesome, which is nice. And has perfumology on the other side. Opens up like this. So you can close it like a book. Opens up beautiful presentation, I have to say. This is going to run you $165 for a 60 ml bottle. This is a beautiful bottle here. Perfumology on the side. Top has the perfumology logo. The bottom is really beautiful. Has the Philadelphia bell. It's pretty cool that you can see that. You can buy samples. I'll leave links down below. Definitely buy yourself a sample first. I wouldn't blind buy these fragrances because they may not be everybody's cup of tea. The sprayers are awesome. Take a sprayer. A lot of mist. Now this here, I'll spray on a test strip. The atomizers are awesome. In the bottle here, you can click it in the place. You can pick it up by the cap if you want. This fragrance opens up. You're definitely getting a lot of freshness. Right? So this fragrance here... You're getting the grapefruit in the opening, which is very nice. It's not sour at all. Very nice, freshly grapefruit. You're getting a nice bit of sweetness coming from the apple. And you're definitely picking up some musky vibes in the fragrance as well. And you're picking up a slightly powdery touch from the orris. Now, this fragrance has a good bit of freshness, I would say, for the first uh, one to two hours. Very nice, refreshing fragrance. Now, in the mid, you're definitely picking up some white flowers some jasmine and some little bit of dry woods in the mid. In the dry you're definitely picking up a lot of musk. And cedar wood, you're definitely picking up some vanilla as well. You're getting some vanilla cream touches. This is a great fragrance for any occasion. There's really not a wrong time when to grab this and just spray it and go. Now, my routine for spraying, do about five sprays, or I would say between five and six sprays, you can get away with. You don't have to go overboard. You can do three sprays. I would say for somebody new to buying these fragrances, between three and six sprays should get you through the day. There's really no issues when to wear it and it shouldn't offend anybody at all. Could this one go on your comments? I feel like it can. You know, if people want to give you a comment, it's fine. It's not always guaranteed, but these type of fragrances are very easy and pleasing for people to smell around you and off your skin. Now let's touch on the performance because everybody's skin chemistry will be different. So definitely that's why I always recommend getting samples at Perfumology or any boutique store I talk about on my channel. Projection is good for the first, I want to say, hour or so on my skin. After that hour does settle back some, it does calm down. You have a nice bit of sea eyes around you. Longevity, which isn't too bad at all. Longevity, I'm getting between eight to 10 hours on my skin. So I have no complaints. Literally, it's going to get through a whole work day. And I would say um, five sprays is probably your sweet spot. You may not want to do six, but I did six. I didn't really care. You know, most people don't are offended by my fragrances. This is an easy going fragrance where it's not going to a offend people. It's not like a oud or a heavy sandalwood. It's not one of those fragrances where it's going to come off overbearing like a heavy Ambroxan or a heavy sandalwood based fragrance. Seasons and occasions. So for me personally, I feel like this is going to be more of a all year round scent. You can grab it and go whenever. Like I said, fall, winter, spring, summer, it's an easy grab and go fragrance. Occasion wise, anytime you want to wear this fragrance, anytime you'll wear like a fresh and clean type of fragrance, like a Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, um, you would wear something like this. Just grab it, go and spray it. Say, date night, casual, running errands, a job interview. Um, this will work for any situation. Even going to a wedding 
or a formal event this will work perfectly you grab it spray it it's not too heavy or choke people out but it's not too light it's where people get closer you're going to love the way you smell raise the final thoughts so me personally I'm gonna give it say 8.5 out of 10 this is one where it's easy to wear i like it a lot some people might say the 165 is a lot but this one definitely get yourself a sample first this is really really inexpensive for a niche fragrance that, that most niche fragrances are two two fifty three hundred plus dollars this one here has a beautiful presentation you're supporting a small business company and i like the bottle appreciation and kelly likes this one a lot as well i wore this around her and the atomizers are amazing this atomizer it's amazing Look how much it sprays out. You don't need to go crazy with the sprays. I like the freshness about the fragrance as well as the sweetness from the apple as well. It's definitely a great combination where you can wear it dressed up or dressed down. And my brothers like this one as well. At the end of the day, you guys should definitely check this out here the Boutique. There's a bunch of other ones. There's Bliss. There's a bunch from the Perfumology brand. And they did rebrand the whole bottle. So they actually are beautiful like this now. And I think it's definitely worth the price point. You're getting a lot of juice. And this fragrance here, people are going to like the way you smell at the end of the day. You should definitely check out Perfumology. And this is called the Boutique. This is the Auto Parfum Concentration. If you guys have tried any of the other Perfumology fragrances, drop a list down below. What are your favorites? Have you visited Perfumology? Do you know near guy? Let me know down below in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this type of content, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Give me a like. Click the bell icon to miss any future content on this channel. And next video we'll do a full review on is Zerzhoff or Gold. Be safe, everyone. I'll catch you next one. Peace.